Greetings sirs and madams, I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation 2. So this is a match I played a really long time ago on my Japanese account. So I think this is the level 1 bishop, and this is a... well, a Xeon support type, which... Uh, it uses the... it uses like wire-guided, like, beam guns on its hands. Well, its hands are the beam guns, and... Uh, yeah, this is my second time ever using this suit, and I'll say I do terribly in it, uh, except when I become ace at the end, and it becomes completely ridiculous. And, you know, you, this, I'll just say, this suit is actually really amazing, uh, when people who aren't me, uh, are using it. So, it has some very, very interesting properties, and I hear it actually, um, it actually does a really good job of comboing uh, in a, like in close range, but I'm not nearly good enough at maneuvering in space to do that. But uh, here's the interesting thing about its uh, beam guns. So yeah, I'm trying to. You can you can do like a, a wire guided attack, but it just it's very hard to lock on and launch the hands. Uh, so yeah. Uh, okay. So in this match, there's a gym guard custom and. He's going to attempt to harass me, but uh, this our Axaku is just on top of it the entire time. So yeah, he's awesome. Okay, so the Mega Particle Cannons, like uh, yeah. So when they're uncharged, they fire like a shotgun, like a beam shotgun, and actually do a shit ton of damage. Have a really good rate of fire. So yeah, very good weapon. And then charged, the beams become focused and they have absolutely insane range and I think from what uh, MS Bob found in his uh, testing is that it's actually not one beam it's actually just 10 beams uh, in the same direction uh, okay I really should not have gotten that kill that was weird and the interesting property that it gets is it gets piercing and yeah so what that means is you can actually like pierce through multiple enemies but really the most useful thing is that I find that you can actually pierce through your own allies so like you know if they're blocking your shot it doesn't matter you can just shoot through them <laughs> so I suppose when you're ace that is an incredibly useful property so yeah I'm gonna be spending the first few minutes just kill stealing a lot and okay it looks like somebody disconnected uh, I think all my guys are still there, so... Hmm. Yeah, so I'm still, like, just learning the weapons on this suit, so that's just why I'm standing, like, really, really far away. And my team is, uh, pretty much just acting like a group of angry bees. <laughs> and they're just swarming all over the enemy team, which is just perfect for me. Okay, so I think that's some sort of Rick Dom, and I think they they have pretty good beam defense as far as I can tell because you know I'm landing charge shots on those things and it's just not taking a lot of damage so okay so ah, Jesus yeah my, my vision is not very good so I, I can't really tell that that was cover yeah I guess from a distance it's hard to I don't know, just everything just blends in with the background Yeah, so you can do a follow-up shot immediately after your charge shot. It'll overheat, but that was definitely worth it to get that kill. Okay, so here comes the part where I'm completely surrounded and outnumbered. <laughs> so I'm going to bail on the suit. And then I'm going to spend about a minute trying to capture this spawn point and fighting off this one guy that showed up. But uh, thankfully, one of my allies showed up and totally fucked that guy in the head. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> worked out for me. Not due to my skill or anything, I just had like really good teammates. Okay, so back in the bishop. And I'm not sure how I managed to miss everything right there. Okay, so... Okay, here's a good shot we have lined up, and... Oh, jeez. Okay, so I was just declared ace, but I did not get that kill, unfortunately. Okay, so here's the really interesting thing. So, our team like uh, pushes them back into this defensive position in the tunnel and they just kind of get stuck in the tunnel and yeah so here's the thing about taking defensive positions when there's a bishop on the enemy team 
you actually don't have a defensive position because the bishop can shoot through everything. Like, it can shoot through your front line, it can shoot around you with the wire guide in arms, like, it can shoot around your cover, um, it can shoot through its own allies to get extra damage on you, it's just all kinds of fucked up, so... <laughs> yeah, like, when it comes to countering bishops, really, your best defense is a good offense, just keep the bishop stunlocked or dead, or you can outmaneuver it, like, um... It, it does have pretty good mobility, but it's still a support type. It, it doesn't have as good mobility as, you know, generals or raid types. Okay, so... Yeah, they're pushed pretty far back. I'm just gonna pop in and out whenever I have a charge shot lined up. Yeah, and right now, my team is doing a pretty good job of focusing fire. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just shooting fish in a barrel at this point. Uh, Okay, I think that's the enemy team's bishop, but dang, I got stunned before I could let my shot off. Yeah, and the enemy team has a... There we go, Percy. <laughs> I just shot through my teammate's leg and, and got that kill, so this is yeah, absolutely perfect for being ace. Okay, there's a good shot on that guy. Yeah, the... The shotgun blast on these uh, Mega Particle guns is actually really good, like, um, the main combo with the smoke suit is you can stun with the charge shot, uh, knock them down with the shoulder tackle, and then you can land, like, maybe two or three shotgun blasts, like, after that. Like, you'll overheat, of course, but you do an unholy shit ton of damage like that. Of course, uh, I never really get the opportunity to get in close range, but, like, uh, yeah, this thing can do some crazy damage if you can practice its combo enough. Okay, it didn't quite land that shot, sorry. Oh. Okay, it's a few seconds left. I think I can nail the enemy ace. Oh man. Yeah, that's really too bad. Okay, he's just got like a little sliver of health left. If somebody had a machine gun, that'd be great, but... Uh... Yeah, I, I got stunned, so I couldn't quite do it, but... Yeah, that was, um... That was a really special match. <laughs> That's just how I'm going to say that. Uh, wow, that ox, that axe Oka looks really weird. Anyway, um, okay, so I guess it was the the gym guard that disconnected. So that sort of explains why I had no pressure on me like at all. Um, but yeah, I, I praised uh, the axe Oka because he just had my ass covered the whole time, like a good guy. Um, yeah, so that match was super duper stupid. Um, don't take my demonstration of the bishop as gospel because I'm really awful with it, but it is super good. I think what I'll do is I'll link in the description um, uh, Knifer's gameplay of the bishop. He is ridiculously good with the bishop. Um, you should really check out how he combos with it. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this stupid match, <laughs> and we'll see you next time.